In this lecture, we're going to be talking about the features of the Dr. Racket program. Dr. Racket is the program that we'll use to edit and to run all of our programs in this course. When you first start Dr. Racket, it will probably ask you to choose a language. To do that, you can go to the language menu, click choose language, and for this course, want to choose, click on choose language, and under the teaching languages, go to how to design programs, click on beginning student, and click OK and that will get you to the language that we'll be using in this course. As we go through the course, we'll be advancing through different language levels that Dr. Racket supports. Once you've started Dr. Racket, you'll see that there are two different parts to the main window. The lower part is called the Interactions window. And in the Interactions window, you can enter Racket expressions and get answers immediately, sort of like a calculator. For instance, we can type an expression like plus 2, 3, and give the answer of 5. We could also have more complex expressions, like this one. And you get to like 14. And you'll notice that Dr. Racket will match parentheses for you so you know which open parentheses goes with the closed parentheses. For instance, as I type plus three, four, and hit a close parenthesis, then you saw the matching parenthesis flash, and the whole sub-expression is highlighted. And if you put your click on any sub-expression in the window, it will highlight that entire expression that's within the parenthesis. And you can also type, since numbers are expressions, you can type numbers in directly like that. And one of the nice things about Dr. Racket is that it supports long numbers like this. So you can even multiply very large numbers and get exact answers, which is a very nice and powerful feature not available in most programming languages. We use the interactions window for experimenting and for quick interactions and calculations. For computations that we want to store permanently, we use the upper window, which is called the definitions window. So if we have a computation we wanted to run over and over, and plus six, three, we can put that in the definitions window and then click on run. And, and the run button will execute and evaluate the expression and give us the answers down in the interactions window. And then we can add other expressions, for instance, 7 times 3, and click Run, and we see that Dr. Racket evaluates the first one and the second one and puts the answers to both of those in the interactions window. Dr. Racket can also help us keep our programs clean and neat by providing automatic indentation. For example, if we put a complex expression oops, notice how Dr. Racket puts the cursor at an indented level each time. And when we run, evaluates the expression, and we get the answer. If for some reason your program gets unindented, you can press the tab key and that will indent the current line. Or if you press control I, that will re-indent the entire program. So I encourage you to use those frequently to keep your programs easy to read. Like most programs, Dr. Ragged has familiar menus across the top, file, edit, view, help, etc. Most of these things work like other programs you're used to. For example, in the file menu, you can create new files. You can save your definitions and print your definitions. And we'll go ahead and open a file that has the examples from this week's lesson in the text. And you can see that it prints the name of the file here, and one nice feature is over here, it gives a pop-up list of all the definitions that are 
in the file. So if you click on one, it highlights that immediately. So if you have a long file with several definitions in it, you can quickly go to what you need to. The edit menu has the usual things, copy, paste, find, etc. There are also preferences that are set. The only preference that I want to make sure that you're using is in the editing tab, in the general tab, I'm sorry, in the racket tab, make sure that the automatically adjust closing parens is checked. That will be useful. In the view menu, there are some options of what shows up in the screen. If you notice, when we loaded the file, the interactions window went away and we saw just the definitions. This lets us see more of our program at a time, which is useful when we're writing our code. If we want to see the interactions again, we can go to View, click on Show Interactions. You can also press Control E, and that will display or remove the interactions window. The Racket menu has some things specific to Dr. Racket. You can have you can re-indent the current line or re-indent all the lines. Those will be what you'll use the most there. Also, there are some advanced features in the Insert menu. We won't really be using those much right now. In the future, we'll be able to insert images into our code. And in the Help menu, you can click on the Help Desk, and that will open a browser that has helpful information and you can do searches for things and search for functions, etc. Another useful tool in Dr. Racket is the Check Syntax button. When you click ch Check Syntax, it will look through all the expressions in your file and it will color code them. Constants are in green and you also notice there are arrows here and highlights. For here I'm highlighting the star for multiplication it shows down at the bottom of the screen that that's part of the um, beginning programming language. It also here shows arrows. For instance, here's a variable R, and this points to where those variables are used. You can also put your cursor over a variable in the body of a function, and it will and the arrow will show you where that variable comes from. Dr. Racket also lets you work on more than one file at once using tabs. You can get a new tab either by going to the File menu and selecting New Tab or hitting Control Equals. And I'll give you a new tab and then you can use this for writing other programs or writing test cases or working on more than one piece of your program at a time. After we finish entering our definitions and we want to run and evaluate them, we can click on the Run button. That will evaluate each of the definitions and put us back into the interactions window with the results. Here since we had all definitions then there's no output yet. And you'll notice that we have all these black boxes with orange. What that shows is that these areas in black and orange have not yet been tested. This lets us know which, which parts of our program haven't, haven't been run yet so we know to test them. For instance, if we run the area of disk function, we get our answer. And also, since this code has been run, the black and orange area goes away. Similarly, if we try f of 6, we get 4, and that goes away. And so if you run your program and watch for these black and orange highlights, you can find areas of your program that haven't been run yet and, and therefore might not be tested and might not work properly. And those are all the features of Dr. Racket that we'll cover in this session. If you have any more questions about the program, please feel free to contact me.